Hey, wonderful people. Um, we are reading the NLT Bible Promise Book for Tough Times. Uh, this is part 8, video 8. I am just going to start reading. It is a really good book. I like it. Um, it only go. I think it only goes to W uh, last time I checked, so it doesn't go all the way through Z. But here we go. I think it goes all the way to W. Yeah, because it's only going to be... Yeah, all the way to W. Weakness. When your circumstances make you weak, we now have this light shining in our hearts. But we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. When you wonder why God doesn't always take away your troubles, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Will of God. When you're having trouble discerning God's will from your life, don't copy the behavior and consumes of this world. But this... Uh, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans twelve two. When following God's will seems impossibly hard, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. Wisdom. When you need good judgment in tough situations, fear of the Lord is a foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Psalms 111, 10. Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. Proverbs 1, 23. Knowledge. Of the Holy One results in good judgment. Proverbs 9.10 If you need wisdom, ask your generous God, and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. James 1.5 Word of God When you crave spiritual food, the laws of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold. Even the finest gold they are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. They are a warning to your servant. A great reward a great reward for those who obey them. Palms nineteen nine through eleven. When I discovered your words, I devoured them. They are my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name, O Lord God of heaven's armies. Jeremiah fifteen sixteen. When you want to build your trust on things entire uh, internal, your internal word, O Lord, stands firm in heaven. Palms one hundred nineteen eighty nine. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. Matthew twenty four thirty five. When you need life changing counsel, all Scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and reaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. 2 Timothy three sixteen through 17 The word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword. Cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow, it exposes our internal innermost thoughts and desires. Hebrew 4.12 When you want to know the benefits of reading God's word, God says the rain and snow come down from the heavens uh, and stay on and stay on ground to water and earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread from the, the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Isaiah fifty five ten through 11 Jesus replied, But even more blessed are all who hear the word of God 
and put it into practice. Luke eleven twenty eight. Work. When you fear your efforts won't be enough, be strong and courageous, for your work will be re rewarded. 2 Chronicles 15, 7. When you long to be useful, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and Im immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. 2 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. When you wonder whether God has quit working in you, Paul says, I am certain that God who began to good work began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day with Christ Jesus returns. Philippines one six Worry When you can't push your worries from your mind, don't worry about anything. Instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. When you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand, his peace will guard your hearts and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. Philippines 4, 6 through 7. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. 1 Peter 5, 7. Worship. When this world seems like a godless place, everything on earth will worship you. They will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious songs. Psalm 66, 4. When you don't feel like worshiping, it is good to thank, it's good to give thanks to the Lord and sing praises to the Most High. Psalms 92, 1. Come close to God and God will come close to you. James 4, 8. When you want to recognize God's presence, come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God. We are the people He watches over, the folk under His care. Palms 95, 6-7 Who will not fear you, Lord? The glor glorify your name, for you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous deeds have been revealed. Revelation fifteen four. When you can't contain your joy for the Lord... You thrill me, Lord, with all you have done for me. I sing for joy because of what you have done. Palms 92.4 Alright guys, that is the end of this book. Thank you for listening. I love this book. It is really great. A lot of scriptures in there, especially for different things. Like worrying and worship. And um, What's that other one that I liked? Obedience. Yeah. Sorry, I knew exactly what page it was on. <laughs> um, so, Obedience. I love it. Um, I recommend this book. So, yeah. Have a good day, guys.